I actually grew up making maple syrup. The making of all the products is like second nature to me. My husband and I bought the farm from my parents in 1993. My son was just born. That was like the craziest season. The sap ran so hard and we boiled around the clock for 10 straight days. I like was in Cooperstown having the baby boy all by myself. And the funny part about it is my son, he was always out here with daddy. I couldn't get him to come in the house. And he's the one who's up in the woods now tapping because he just wants to do nothing but be a maple producer. One down. <laughs> Been building new line every year, adding taps of probably 3,000. Uh, last few years I've been making 500 gallons, trying to make more every year. I have a commercial processing kitchen. I started to develop more and more products like maple pickled beets and granola and popcorn and anything that we could do with maple. So it's pure maple syrup turned into pure maple sugar. This will stir for about four minutes. We cooked it to 256 degrees. You stir it to cool it and it'll start to granulate. In a few minutes you'll see billows of steam coming off, which is the last little bit of moisture evaporating. People who grew up here are nostalgic about this area. It does help my mail order business a lot because as those people disperse, they really want the kinds of food that they had growing up. You sort of diversify, try this, try that, which is what the pancake breakfast came from. We started doing Sundays in the spring. That was a huge hit and we expanded to do fall, winter, and spring. In the summer, I like to be outside. Eventually, they convinced me that I should be open all year long, which is one of the reasons why Pure Catskills is so effective, because they really foster a relationship between the people who are working and growing here and the people who are looking for those products. I always think I'm the luckiest person in the world. This is what I do for a living. Just yesterday, I was tapping trees. I'm walking through the beautiful snow and I'm like, this is what I do for a living. I always think it's important to share that, you know, because the rest of the world, they only dream about that. <laughs>